Hello and welcome to this workshop for Cranoon and Oak, kicking off Cork County Summer Arts Programme. In this workshop, we're going to design a character from our favourite book. The things that we're going to need to carry out this workshop include pencils, pens, eraser, ruler, set square if you have one. You'll also need some nice paper and some colours. I'm using markers but you use whatever you like to use. So let's take a look at some character illustration from books you might have heard of. This is Goth Girl by Chris Riddell. He's one of my favourite illustrators. And this is Monkey and Friends by Jamie Hewlett, who also illustrates the gorillas, the band that is. And this is my drawing of Death, the Grim Reaper, for a book by Brendan O'Connell. So first let's warm up and take a look at figure drawing. Now figure drawing is something that a lot of people find quite daunting, so I want to try and give you a few pointers on that before we get stuck into the more creative side of this workshop. Now you see here I'm working on a template that I've put together and you'll be able to download this along with some other materials which will help you to do this workshop at home. There are five horizontal lines and those are to help me keep a sense of proportion. The proportion basically means the sizes of things, so make sure the sizes work well uh, through the figure that I'm drawing. There are so many ways to draw humans. Uh, you can start with stick figures and then flesh them out. You can start with lots of circles and ellipses or spheres. Um, you can use kind of triangles and hexagons. So I've tried to do a couple of ways here, try to take a couple of approaches, an angular approach and then one where I'm using more circular shapes. Uh, just to show you that there are a couple of ways. For many ways. <laughs> the important thing is that you try all of them and you figure out the ones, figure, uh, <laughs> you figure out the ones that work for you. I find myself using a combination depending on the pose and the character that I'm drawing. It varies. Um, and I like to keep changing things up as well. So one last thing before we move on, you'll see that there are eight heads down the left-hand side of the template. And our heads are a basic unit of measurement that you can use when you're drawing your figure. I'll explain more about that in the downloads but that's why they're there. I just wanted to explain why they're on the template. Okay, so just drawing some stuff to add character to basic exercise. And now we're gonna try drawing lots of poses. And this is something along the lines of gesture drawing. So I just imagine a pose in my head and then try and draw it, but only using simple shapes. These aren't finished drawings by any means. I love to do this. This is what I do when I'm bored. It's a great way to warm up. Draw things that you're not too invested in, you're not too worried about before you really get creative. Now, I'm guessing that you know who you're gonna draw by now. So it's a good idea to do some research before we start drawing our character. I'm going to draw Scheherazade from the Arabian Nights and I chose to research the traditional dress from countries like Afghanistan, Iran, uh, looked up the Berber women of North Africa. And then I took to sketching and I decided to sketch a few of the costumes. Uh, this one I'm sketching here is Lebanese traditional dress. Um, when I was a kid, it all seemed to be belly dancing costumes. People join Shahrazad. Um, a lot of Egyptian style, I think. And it occurred to me that these stories, they're from all across the Middle East. So for that reason, I took the opportunity to investigate traditional dress from many countries. 
and I find sketching helps me to understand things more deeply. So, I mean, I could have drawn Scheherazade straight away and just copied one of the images, but I wanted to sketch a few of them. Now, when you start sketching, uh, my top tip <laughs> is that you should start light and loose and use simple shapes. Um, don't worry if you make mistakes. If you start loose, don't press hard with your pencil. It's really easy to make changes if you need to, and it's easy to work on top. So as you see here, I work very lightly. And then once I wanted to add detail, then I started to go in a bit harder. Now these are only going to be pencil drawings, so it was fine to go in harder. When you're working in pen, you want to keep it light though. So now it's time to start penciling our design, and by that I mean to start working on the actual illustration because all the drawing we've done up to this stage is warm up and preparation, research, uh, getting to know the world that our character might live in, um, what they might wear in it. Now I'm really thinking about the character. Now Shahrazad was very beautiful, but she was very smart, so I wanted to bring that across in how she appears uh, and in her expression. She's confident as well, she has extreme confidence. If you don't know about her, then I really recommend you read uh, a collection of the Arabian Nights. There's so many versions, so many anthologies. So here, as I said, working up the simple shapes, working light and loose, because I'm going to be going over all of this in pen. So now for those outlines, but you might not be working in pen. Uh, I, I like to use fine liners and I knew I was going to be doing that. So that affected how I did my pencil work. Um, you could use felt tips, you could stay with pencil, but you use whatever you have and whatever you like to use. I just like to use fine liners when I'm drawing um, on paper. I do a lot of pencil drawing as well though, but for this I wanted fine liners. So kind of try and go around all the main shapes first. Make sure all the big outlines, if you like, all the broad shapes are sorted out. You see there I've got a scrap of paper under my hand. The reason for that is I don't want to smudge the pencil and I don't want to get pencil on my hand. Not because I care particularly about my hands getting dirty, but more that I don't want to smudge the drawing. Especially once I start going over it in ink. Even when you're working in fine liners, although they dry quickly, it's still possible to smudge. So once I'm happy with the, the main outlines, I start going in in detail. So I'll choose areas for accent. Uh, so by that I mean areas to make darker or stronger. And I really like drawing in black and white, so I wanted to add loads of pattern. And there I used a ruler. I don't really like to use rulers too much in drawing, but I just set up a few lines to make sure that I kept my lines on a regular, even horizontal. Try and make sure I use lots of lines going in lots of different directions to suggest vertical and horizontal, just to make the drawing more interesting as well. Nearly there. So now if you're into colour, it's the time to get them out. So I added colour to mine and I talked a little bit about using colour in my other online workshop about designing a book cover. So hop over to that for some tips on using colour. So now it's your turn and I hope you've enjoyed this workshop. <laughs>